In September 2010, Group Aeroplan brought nine employees from around the world to British Columbia as the Change Action Team. Working with Group Aeroplan's environmental partner, Offsetters, the purpose of the trip was to learn about climate change and how investing in clean technology projects makes a contribution. The team came together to create new friendships, to discuss environmental issues, and to have fun. This morning we went out to um, the University of British Columbia and um, checked out some of the projects that Offsetters are um, affiliated with. We visited projects at the University of British Columbia as well as the offices of Offsetters. This was to provide intellectual groundwork with examples of architectural projects. We wanted to come to an understanding of offsets, what they are, and how projects are selected. The team then traveled by ferry to Vancouver Island, experiencing the transition from an urban setting to one of incredible natural beauty. On the island, we traveled by bus, with explanations along the way from two researchers. Aboriginal leaders showed us their efforts to live sustainably through run-of-river hydroelectric generation to environmentally friendly tourism projects, such as zip lines. In Tofino, we saw the beauty of nature and its resonance to traditional art forms. Taking a water taxi up the coast, we visited another Aboriginal community who have faced hardships, but who are now opening an ecologically sound lumber operation. We saw the blessing of their new sawmill. We also saw the new high school that is being built in the rain. It rains a lot in the Clackwood Sound biosphere, which creates the rainforest a spectacularly beautiful, almost magical environment. The group stayed at a lodge on land which is part of historic Aboriginal heritage and also part of a pioneering past. We visited an Aboriginal school in the Ahousat Nation, which harnesses wind for building ventilation and captures grey water and rainwater for recycling. After lots of discussion and meals shared, the Change Action Team left the lodge early on a misty morning to drive through the forest. Reflecting on all we had seen, quiet moments of illumination, and more questions raised. We traveled by boat along the shores laced with mist. We passed sea caves and the legendary whales that guide them, through the clear, healthy waters to Tafim. We caught a float plane from Tofino to Whistler. We flew over the coastal mountain range, over glacial lakes and snow caps of the Rocky Mountains of British Columbia's mainland. We arrived in Whistler, BC, where we saw three projects. The solar-powered passive house, which had been built as a display for the Winter Olympics, We also saw a newly efficient boiler in a large hotel. And then we saw a large run of river project harnessing the energy of a mountain stream which sells electricity to the provincial grid and generates enough to sustain a community of 30,000 homes. The group paused at the top of Blackcomb Mountain to consider all we had seen firsthand and of course, the future. What now? Each member of the team would take the story of the trip back to share with colleagues in Sydney, Australia, Dubai, London, Milan, Minneapolis, and Montreal. 
images and words to explain how Group Aeroplan is working with offsetters, why we are offsetting our global footprint. The intended outcome of this trip is to promote discussion of where, as a business, we may have new opportunities to act responsibly and proactively on the frontier of environmental stewardship.